how to catch mice without using a mouse trap. Let's get started. All right, guys, in today's video, it's super special because I'm in a $100,000 movie theater here, and it's an absolute beautiful, beautiful theater that's somewhat getting destroyed by mice. Check it out. You can see this theater, it's got a lot of ornate decorative base molding here. The tassels are being chewed up by the mice. The seats are getting also chewed up with the tassels here. And the mice as well are nesting underneath these seats and some of them have been chewing on some of this wiring here. The owners of this place are getting super, super tired of dealing with the mice. What they've been using is poison boxes and snap traps with some glue boards. And you can see how some of the poisons have been dragged over here, but the mice are walking around this entire mansion here. What's happening is they're finding dead mice and the dog actually got sick from the poisons. So they typically leave the theater door open here. Here's the bar area, which is gorgeous. But what they're doing is the mice is traveling along here into the hallway and then getting into the kids' bedrooms and they're leaving a lot of droppings in the bathroom as well. So I'm super excited to announce and really show you guys what our rat vac can do in this situation right here. In fact, if you check this other video out, we exposed the rat nest inside that wall. We didn't know what else to do but to extract them. That gave us an idea and that's how the twins rat vac system was created. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-bait this three inch ABS pipe with our monitoring cameras over the next 24 to 48 hours. Once the mice get comfortable inside this pipe, then we're going to set up our twin rat vac system and get rid of the mice out of this beautiful, beautiful theater. These work really, really well, these crackers. So we're going to crumble the crackers up, put them inside the pipe. We should get a lot of activity, guys. The problem with glue boards, the problem with snap traps, that we're finding is that especially with a rental property kind of like this they use this as a airbnb at times the constant monitoring plus the blood plus 50 percent of the time these mice and rats get away from these traps and once these get deployed then they come in and eat the bait and then they run off and they survive that much longer and these glue traps not a big fan of these inhumane they don't work half the time it attracts ants spiders that's the downside Side of the glue traps. This theater reminds me of my brother and I watching our first movie in a movie theater, Hellraiser Bloodline. Check out the scene. From now on, we stick together. Always together. Right. Breathe! He's got pins in his head. All right, so part of the investigation is we gotta figure out how they're getting into the theater. And I see something right off the bat here, guys. See the electrical here? The cable guys didn't cover this hole, so that's a potential area right there for sure. We wanna cover that up. Yep, look at that, guys, another one. So unlike rats, mice don't leave a lot of the brown smear marks that you see in a lot of our other videos. So with mice, it's a little bit different as far as the investigation because like I said, mice do not leave those brown smudge marks like rats do because they have rat grease, they urinate on their tail and they drag all the dirt and grime. So it gives us the clues. With mice, it's a little bit more challenging. Oh, look at there's a little attic space here. The stage or the curtains, you guys, are right over there. So I'm gonna have to come into here and do some investigation work. There's that one hole right there. Look at, there's the mice droppings. Little burrow right there. Question is, is how they're getting in. That's why when you guys have your contractors, make sure they don't leave things like this. Plus you're getting a lot of cold air, you guys. And that's just coming through here. Even though they have insulation, there's a gap there. I think the clients will be super happy with what we found, but now we gotta go to the outside. And that's with any type of rodent control, rats, mice, we've gotta find their entry points. And once you find their entry points, now they're stuck in the four walls of your house. That's when any type of trapping is super, super effective. So let's head to the outside. So for now, we're just gonna get a little spray foam put inside there. We're gonna add a little bit of cayenne or chili pepper in that foam. So just making sure that the mice don't chew. If 
So let's head to the outside. The mice chewed the door seal all the way across. Look at this right here. If you go to excluder.com, they have amazing, amazing door seals for garages and doors. What's great about Excluder is if the mice or rats chew through it, you have a lifetime warranty. You just send it back and Excluder will send it back. That's why we recommend this particular company because they specialize specifically for rodents. So this is where the clients are storing all their trash from the kitchen area. Oh yeah, poisons right here that the clients have been using. Oh yeah, look at the mice drop. Oh, dead mouse. This is why we don't use poisons. Here's another reason why you don't want to use poisons. Get a dog like this, huh? Her name is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Yeah. The clients are stating that in the office area, there is a very, very bad odor. They can't figure out why. I do smell, guys, a little bit of a dead odor here. It's a little cute there, Dane. Well, there's their problem right there. That's why we've developed the rat vac, you guys, because you don't have to use poisons and have these rodents migrate throughout your house and die somewhere in the walls, the attic, as you could see in that office. That's why we love the Twins Rat Vac because it extracts automatically. You don't have to be there. You can use our enzymes, pour inside, or you can use it a humane way and catch and release out in the field. So that's why we love our new system. We're gonna pre -bait. we're gonna monitor. We will be back. Day two. Well guys, it's showtime. Take a look at the footage with the blink camera. How comfortable this mouse is going in and out of that pipe. Amazing, right? That's what I love about what I'm about to introduce. And that is the new Twins Rat Vac. All right guys, here is the new Twins Rat Vac. The rats and the mice go through here. We've got our uh, bait station right here. When this sensor, our motion sensor picks it up, they get extracted right into the vacuum. That's why it's important to pre-bait to get those rats and mice very comfortable inside that pipe. And as you can see all of that footage, he was super comfortable. In fact, he loved it so much that that was his eating place every single night. We are going to capture this mouse. Finally, he's going to get sucked up. So this right here, you guys, we custom made where it fits right onto the vacuum hose right here. We're going to power it up and the vacuum gets plugged in right there. We're going to pre-bait a little bit more for the mouse tonight. Let's try a piece of paper towel here. See how quickly that sucked it up? All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is put a GoPro in here, just like this, and it's on slow-mo as well, so we can kind of see when the mouse gets sucked up inside the vacuum here. Showtime! Day three. We got it. We got it. There he is. Oh, he's a cute little thing. The other great thing about the rat back is they're able to still continue to eat. What's cool about the rat back, you can see he's still very, very much alive. He's no, not in pain, there's no blood. So guys, as you can see, this is the ultimate way to trap rats and mice without having to bait, have all the blood and the guts and dealing with all of the mess of rebaiting. You can catch multiple, multiple, multiple rodents. So super, super excited. No more glue traps, no more snap traps, no more poisons. So you can see how effective the rat back is, you guys. Absolutely amazing when you have the camera to identify how many rodents you have, what they're baiting on, if they're feeling comfortable around those traps. So it gives you all of that data. And then having the right vacuum is also critical as well. So let's go over that right now. So when it comes to choosing the right vacuum is dependent on what type of rodents you have. So for rats, we're recommending either Craftsman or, uh, you know, rigid six and a half horsepower is the ultimate because it comes with the larger hose. Uh, for mice, you can actually go smaller, but we always recommend for mice, 
six for rats, six and a half. It allows you to catch rats or mice in a humane way. As you saw, that was completely live after he got extracted. With mice, you can just remove this right here and let them come out into a field. If you're not into humane, you can then pour our enzyme inside, fill it up about three or four inches from the bottom. They will drown after three to four minutes, and then you can discard it with a nice big hefty bag, remove this top, put the big construction bag over it, tip it over, and then dispose of it. Well guys, I gave the homeowners an update of what's going on. I've been sharing some of the footage. I showed them the footage of the extraction and they were blown away. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Twins Rat Vac, go ahead and go to the link down below. It's right there in the description. I think Dave needs to do the mouse dance. Great job, Jim. This deserves the mouse dance. Well guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Give me your comments on what you think about the Twins Radvac. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.